So let's say you want to drop some fresh B-roll down into your timeline from your browser, but you only want the video. Hit Shift 2, mark an in and an out point, hit Q to append it, and you'll see that there's no audio on this clip. Whenever I'm editing, I'm always looking at the audio waveforms, but if the audio meters are ever missing, there's an easy way to get them back. You can click right here and it'll bring back your audio meters. So let's say you're working with an older Mac and you're having trouble playing back your footage without it dropping frames. One thing you can do to try to improve this is go up to the view menu and instead of having quality shown as better quality, choose better performance and it'll allow for smoother playback. Another tip for smoother playback is in your timeline settings. Instead of showing the thumbnails of your images on your clips, you can go here to the view menu and choose audio waveforms only. And with it only processing the audio waveforms, you could sometimes get smoother playback on an older Mac. If you want to navigate to another timeline in your timeline history quickly, click and hold this arrow and you can pick the timeline that you want to go to. If you're a trackpad editor and you're zoomed into your entire timeline, just double tap with two fingers on your trackpad and the entire timeline will zoom out and fit in your window.